Hey, William, thanks for uh, joining us. Thank you. If you have a question for William, please uh, hit the raise hand button. And CL Brown, go ahead. Well, uh, I was just gonna kind of ask you about your, your personal journey here. I mean, what what would you say kind of kept you focused and, and believing uh, and, and grinding for the chance to be able to play like you did on Saturday? Like, like was there ever a point during your time here where you felt like man, maybe you were never gonna get that kind of an opportunity? I feel like I feel like my junior year of college, that was kind of like the thought process uh, going to the last uh, from last year where I was kind of thinking maybe I won't get a chance. But, you know, I had to talk to my parents about it. And I had to pray about it for a while, you know, getting stronger in my faith. And I had to understand that, you know, this is a that this is a um, it's a business and I have to, you know, get on track and just just keep working for it. You know, after a while, you know, the hard work kind of paid off. I lost a lot of weight. And, you know, I started going to um, more meetings with my online coach and just learning more of what I need to do so that I was able to play like I did Saturday night. Yeah, so so what would you say probably in terms of your, your habits or your preparation, what would you probably say was, was the key in you personally feeling like you turned a corner? I feel like for me personally was just getting in the film room just watching more film on my opponent and watching film on myself actually kind of figure out what what it is that I need to do on the field other than my opponent as well but just mostly things critiquing on my work ethic all right thank you thank you back up back over to Andrew Jones hey William you got on the field first couple games you were at Carolina and then didn't really play much for for a while uh you went through the journey that, that CL was alluding to. What was the toughest, the most challenging time that you went through? What, what was that? And, and how did you manage to navigate your way through those challenges? I feel like one of the most uh, challenging was probably just the COVID year. You know, even though we were all, even though we were kind of all together, it was just, you know, a crazy year for, I'm pretty sure everyone around the world and just having to go through that and having to focus on, you know, getting on the field and getting more playing time as much as I could was kind of hard for me. But after um, COVID started dying down, it's still out there, but as it started dying down a little bit, I kind of started tuning into what I needed to do on the field and also what coach wanted me to have, wanted me to do while I was out there. So was I feel it, like. I'm sorry. I thought you were finished. No, 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 it's fine. Was there a specific moment or, or a conversation you had with somebody where you felt like, okay, I feel like I'm on the right course now. I'm on track and, and I'm going to be able to eventually achieve or my natural gifts will allow me to achieve. I feel like my conversations with um, kind of like most, most of the coaching staff, you know, kind of looking after me um, with coach Charles, you know, communicating with me, telling me what I need to do with coach uh, Phil Longo telling me, you know, like what plays, I, what plays I could do to get better, you know, multiple, multiple coaches coming up to me, helping me out throughout this process and this journey kind of got me to where I where I was on Saturday and how I can keep continuing to work on my game. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Ross Martin, go ahead. Hey, William. What was it like being out there in a, in a big time game, big time starting role? What did you feel like? What did you feel like after the game? Just give us kind of take us inside your your mind for that experience. Um, you know, um, getting my first career start was, you know, there was still a little pregame jitters, but after the first play, when we started rolling, it kind of felt like it kind of got easier as, as I started playing out there. And I knew I knew the responsibility that I had to do when I got out there this Saturday, going through the week, you know, practicing, coaches telling me what I need to do. My teammates also helping me, you know, like Jordan Tucker and uh, Marcus McKeith and, you know, telling me like what I need to do, what I need to stay focused on so that once I was out there, I knew exactly what I need to do and there was no fall off. How did they feel after knowing you know, y'all did a pretty good job on the O line and, and got a huge win? Uh, the best feeling was just you know beating Virginia. You know after four years, you know we've been working hard to beat them for a while. And, you know they were a great team. You know they fought with everything they had, but in the end we came out victorious, and I'm just happy that we came out with the win. Adam Smith, go ahead. Hey William, um, about uh, on the subject of 
Tagendler and the big game he had the other night. Like, it sounds like that's been a process for him that's been coming. Like, he's been working on getting more familiar with you guys and where the holes might be, his footwork. It seems like he's really kind of put in the work on the details. What, what have you seen from him? And I'm sure you were happy to see that big game out of him. I mean, for Ty, like him coming in, we kind of saw him as a as a good player and a good person as well. Just talking to him off the field, he's a great person and he's a really cool guy. And when he got on the field, he did he did everything that he needed to do and he did his assignments and he was running the ball all over the field. So, you know, seeing that from a running back that transferred over from Tennessee, that was really that was really exciting to see. And I, I enjoyed watching him play. Did you feel like that was coming from him after the first couple of games might not have been what exactly you guys wanted? Um, yeah, but in, in the end, like, you know, we all have things that we can work on. It, it just comes with time. And I guess his time was this game, this uh, Virginia game, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, we'll close up with William from Greg Barnes. Hey, William, I had some technical difficulties, so I apologize if you've already answered this. But is it is the, the switch from guard to tackle, um, has, that, has that been beneficial for you? Uh, in terms of everything kind of clicking, um, I was I would say uh, I would say yes and no because moving out to right tackle um, kind of changed my um, my mental on what I, what my assignments were. But once I got kind of got the once I kind of got tackled down once once I started you know knowing my assignments you know guard was kind of easy to transition over to. So now I can play right guard, right tackle, left guard wherever the coach needs me. Okay. I also wanted to ask you about the little hit on Josh Downs. Did the team realize what had happened during the game, or was it something that you had to get in the film review to see what took place? Uh, it was something in the film room that we had to see. Um, I, I know Josh was talking about it when it happened, but we kind of didn't understand what he meant because we, they didn't show it. But as soon as we got in the film, we saw, we saw the play. It was, it was bad. So I'm glad that we were able to catch that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, William, thanks for a few minutes today. Appreciate it. Thank you.